The most popular repeat pattern on this thing is this. A simple, I am conducting it in 12A, in three places here. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three. Mm -mm. And if you can, you can clap it following me. If you can, you can join in. And against this, we can be able to set up all kind of rhythmic contrast. And I'll try you gym with one. I pick another one. And from here going, imagine hearing about 10 of these bells. All play short. Contrasting for listening or dancing or just singing over. Simple, simple, simple. Every polyrhythmic structure, I love these instruments. Uh, they are so versatile that uh, if you just get creative with them, you can make some great, 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 great music. All you have to do is let your emotions go, um, and then we will move on with that instrument down there, Ellie has. That's a heart It's a simple shaker. I'm on the edges with play it, getting it here, and slapping it. <laughs> it looks like mine. I'll give it to her so she will play it for you. We use the rattle basically to reinforce the basic pattern down there. Let's try a little bit of that and see. Back to back, back to back to back to back. So go. It is built and the back is covered to keep the vibrating air in the column to give you that. <coughs> uh, now, what I am doing down there is setting up just a rhythmic contrast going three against the four. 
now. But as a, a typical every, when we hear rhythmic pattern, we hear emotions. When I hear three going against the four, mm, 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 it's kind of like, mm, mm. Now, the standard is to be able to express emo emotions and, you know, uh, and desires naturally through the rhythmic patterns. So I'm going to try that one more time. Keep my left hand. That's where the, the accent is. I will be improvising it going, but I will not miss the, the, the three, four relation. Shall we try one more time so you can follow me? Uh, three against four cross rhythm. That is how rhythmic contrast works. You set up this one, set up that one, set up this one. Now I am going to give you very quickly what a typical AV kid will have learned by the time that they grow up in terms of the vocabulary in polyrhythm. Now we normally will have used the standard bell pattern as our metronomic background. Now and very quickly learn to subdivide that musical period in so equal subdivision in twos, threes, four, which is the main bass key, six, both on and off. Now, when you come down to three, there are four phrasings of three against four cross rhythm. I'll try to do all of them for you, and then go as far as basically 24 units. Now, that is the range of uh, <coughs> the vocabulary with which composers normally will have conveyed their ideas. Start this way. Dividing it up in two. One. Two. One. Two. I go to three. I have one. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. The second one. One. Two. Three. 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 One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Now, that's the range of the rhythmic vocabulary. It's a simple subdivision of the musical period into equal units. But then, the way composers use it, become the quality by which each composer is judged. Some people can simply just say, for example, take a subdivision, a musical period, then sequence it, you know, and go to another subdivision. Kind of like this. <laughs> and stop and go to something else. Now, but everything is turned into an emotional, um, this thing. Now, I'm going to draw. Um, this simple, this thing that I always will use in classrooms, this comes from the music called Takara, which women are really the composers. What the women do is get much more emotional than us, the men, when they, they do this thing. It's the same rhythmic pattern, but the, the emotions that they use to express it. Listen to this, as if you can follow the, the contrasts. 
I go from I mean, and on and on, and they just carry on going. What I have just done, the very first half of the, the first cycle, kind of like as if you go in um, uh, 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 just the basic triplets. But the way the dugga, 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 dugga is going, it sounded like as if they are doing a quarter note triplet, you know, you know uh, a sixth subdivision of the measure. Then from there, they go into a three against four cross rhythm. Now, when we go into three against four cross rhythm, what do we do? Instead of just hitting ah, 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 they will cover that, you know, the whole space that um, the three, the ascent cover, the character, which is like, you know, four, four eight notes with all kinds of different distinct to create motion. So they create a motif, and repeat it three times. Kind of like that. Now, so polyrhythm in African music is the whole entire music. You set up structures and beginning to challenge the structures, create all kind of uh, uh, imitation of life. Now, composers will have bad time, and by the evening they go to bed, they compose a song, you know, kind of like a, a memor you know, kind of remembering what they have gone through, the kind of emotions that they were feeling, they try to create it. So you see um, a lot of rhythmic, you know, structures going in uh, and moving. It looks like the time is going. If I can begin to take some questions now, um, Oh, we got some time. Sure, let's do some more. Uh, <laughs> now, why don't we very quickly try to do this and fill it all the way up, 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 right? Can join them. Yeah. So you can. Ah, uh, 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 any, any of the, any of the. What do you want to do? As you clap this. Good. <laughs> See, as if you can pick any of this. This is just going in a simple set. He's an ever, an ever guy. I just ran into him for the first time in years. Uh, I, I was unable to even recognize him. He came from the same tribe, and uh, as I'm talking, I saw him down there, kind of like. Uh, so I, I mean, I have to bring him down here. <laughs> Looks like I'm, I was cheering him out of something. Now that's how he is. Uh, um, so he's going to join me down here. Now the drum he is having is called Kidi. Um, now. But very quickly, 